have the number 41. This is your angelic message for the day. Take this with you. Open yourself up to that angelic energy. Watch how your day unfolds. Watch what happens when you open yourself up to angelic high frequency of the light, of God's love, all that good stuff, okay? And yes, everyone is deserving of that. So don't shut your heart down, okay? <laughs> Take this message with you. So the number is 41, unexpected visitors. What my attention's being drawn to, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's kind of small. He's down here. There's a little bunny there, okay? First of all, it's giving Alice in Wonderland kind of, uh, can, I, can I say what the millennials say and say vibe? Can I borrow it? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> you can have it back now. I don't even like it. You can have it back. Uh, unexpected visitors, but it's giving Alice in Wonderland and this white rabbit. You take that as you will. But to me, this is, some people would see this as lucky. Some other people have different viewpoints of it, but this bunny is sort of hidden and she doesn't have eyes on this rabbit. This tells me that today there could be something that is there that's unexpected uh well like it says unexpected visitors there's something kind of waiting in the wings that is I, I think that's the best way to put it there's something waiting in the wings that is an unexpected help unexpected piece of information it's a gift of peace it's a gift of peace but for some reason a lot of us humans because we're so wired in these physical bodies to equate hardship with real soul growth, right? Like that's a lot of what we get taught, right? Is the more you, uh, not the more you suffer, but you know, when you hit the hard stuff, it's really toughening you up. It doesn't always have to be like that though. There can be help. There can be beautiful moments in your human existence as well. And that might mean you're meeting an unlikely friend or you get a break. Um, I remember there was a time I had a day where all these things were scheduled for the day. And I was just, oh, I had anxiety about that day coming up. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I get up in the morning, I'm jittery. I mean, I was like really nervous about this day and so afraid I was going to forget something or be late for something. And I got into it and everything took half the time that I expected it to take. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be and ended up flowing with the day just fine. Now, part of the reason why it took half the time was because I had help and I didn't think I was going to have help. Okay, so that's the kind of energy that you can be working with today where something is not going to have to be as hard and you don't need to make it hard, right? You don't need to take something, you, you can take the path of least resistance today, I think. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't refuse help if someone's offering help. I think I've overstated it already, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love. Have a good day <laughs> and take care. Bye-bye.